Paris, mm -hmm. we will accept we will accept that. And there's some French Taj Maj. Taj Maj will also accept. Okay, good. Right. So that's two out of five. Right. Then we have uh, we have an interview. Everybody does an interview. Okay, we'll okay. be speaking about that. Right. Yeah. Um, there is uh, references, and then there's the, your CV. So okay, we, we CV. look at your past experience and look at looked at uh, what's been your career progression, how much leadership have you had, how much international experience have you had, uh, and um, the nature of the, the, the institution you got your educational background from. Okay. What's the international aspect of the program apart from being uh, in English? International MBA, aren't they all? Um, in fact, no, they're, we said they're, they're 17 not 17 nationalities out of 30 people. Right. So, 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 you've, got, so you've got a very strong uh, participation by people from all over the world. And that adds just a very rich dimension. And if you look at a lot of schools uh, who have maybe a high percentage of international students, many of them come from one country. Right. Okay, so here so, so ours okay. the diversity it's a, really the diversity adds a of, 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 of richness. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. So a, people come from thing. really all over the world, and I think that also people come all from all over the world. We have within ourselves international experience. I don't know, the Italian that moved to Copenhagen. I did exchange programs in uh, in Italy as well, and or we have a Japanese that used to do. Uh, work in the States, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like also not only that you come from a different place. Is it necessary to have had international experience before? It's not necessary. It's not necessary, but it's desirable. Highly appreciated. Well, I, th I think it helps you to first deal with the fact that you're going to be in groups of people who come from very different perspectives, and if you're not internationally aware, that can be disquieting. That can be okay. quite quite a shock if you're like, all of a sudden I'm in a group with, you know, a, a German um, and, uh, you know, someone else from Brazil who does not, maybe a little more casual or different different approach to time, okay. uh, people who are a little bit more reticent about, about speaking. So this helps. Okay, so international aware. side is, okay, so the, the students, actually the participants, professors too, I mean, the content yes. of courses, is, is it we, I think this year you've been taught by, um, by Canadian, Spaniards, French, um, German, German, um, Tunisian. Um, Agnes is from the UK. UK, okay, uh, American. So, okay, so and <laughs> the list goes on. Yes. Right. Good. Right. Uh, anything else we should know about the international aspect of the international and, and, side and, of the program? In the cases, really, and the the material you get is very broad. So it's providing dimensions from around the world. So you'll get cases from things in, in India and China and Japan, and so you really get different perspectives. Mm -hmm. uh, is it okay. really focused on international business, or not? I mean, is it like general management, or is it? You, you get broadly. It's not focused on international business per se. Mm -hmm. You get the basic business. You get you know concept basic business con uh, uh, business basic business concepts, but you get an, an appreciation for how they might vary in different places of the world. So we did, you know, we do a course in uh, entrepreneurial finance, mm -hmm. right? And we'll talk about how might this differ if you were in India, or China, or France, the U.S. What are some of the elements that are different? So you know, so as people go back they can understand how this might work in general concepts, but they might, they're very context specific, like, like business is. Next question. Is a program open to career switchers? Of course. Actually, I think it's pretty much for career switchers. Not precisely. I mean, there's people that come from the car industry, they're engineers, so they want to continue to be in the car industry, and they're still obviously always be engineers. Mm -hmm. But for example, for me, that I was also a financial analyst, I think that I want to move to either my own project and be an entrepreneur or, or well, that would be our move into maybe the luxury market. Mm -hmm. So it, I think it's, yeah, I think it gives you the possibility to move and go from one industry or, or to another one. It gives you the tools and even, we also do an ELP project that is uh, in conjunction with a company. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a go really good kind of like small, st not small step, but a link between your MBA and your next career move. So if you use your ELP, you can achieve that as a switch to move in your career path. 
What are, the, what are the learning trips? Can you give us a clear idea of what is studied during such trips? So I had mentioned the, um, the trip to, to Finland that the cohort just came back from. The idea is that um, first we wrap this in a course that looks at business systems in, in different countries. The mm -hmm. idea that of going to Finland, for example, is... Because that was going to be my question. Why Finland? Excellent. Because Finland has... So if you look at Finland, there's a, Finland, has more, Finland has more cooperatives than any other country in the world per capita. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cooperatives. So why, why cooperatives? Cooperatives are, you know, are organizations where people have their individual businesses, but I they I thought that was Russia and Finland. Um, anyway, no, it's just. <laughs> but, but, so the idea is that, you know, the Finns are, are very individualistic. Uh -huh. well, why are they individualistic? Well, because it's cold outside. If you can't take care of yourself, you're gonna die, right? So, so they're able to, they develop business systems in a way that mirror the, the history, the culture. Um, in Finland, in school, you read books about, uh, you learn leadership from reading books about the army because it's very close to Russia. There's been a long history between Finland and, and Russia and, and wars, and those really affected the way in which leadership has developed, in which business practices has, de has developed. So the idea is that you, we go somewhere, which is still within Europe, because people come to Europe for a reason, so they're in Europe, but they see that, that the way in which business and business practices have evolved are based on history, are based on geography, are best based on a number of other things. And the idea is that if we were then after this, after this, uh, to take you and put you into some country you had never been before, mm -hmm. you take a step back and you say, okay, why is business transacted here the way it is? What is it just, uh, I mean, the, the aim of the trip, is it just to make you think differently about things and to take perspectives on things? Or is it, you know, to uh, visit companies? Uh, w w what's the aim, actually? Yes, we visit, uh Nokia, uh, Nokia system network, and as well entrepreneurship space like the business kitchen and the design factory, and I think as well is that Finland was famous for Nokia, mm -hmm. right? And because my question always was when when I figured out we were going to to Finland was why Finland, obviously. So when they took us there, usually people go to Shanghai, Singapore, and well, I was uh, English. Wh mm -hmm. why? <laughs> My Finland, seriously, uh, or Sweden, not Stockholm or something more popular than than mm -hmm. Finland, and it was like okay, so Nokia. So when when the f not the town of Nokia happened, Olu, Olu. Uh, it's like when the iPhone and everything revolutionizes the mm -hmm. telephone industry, the mobile industry. People were left out of jobs. Mm -hmm. So the government and the state did such a good effort, and the people did such a good effort to. We have to find new ideas. Okay, because so it's a way of, uh -huh. of seeing how these people invented a new way of thinking. A new way of thinking.